Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel AT Commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about display data on admin dashboard. So let's see how can we display data on admin dashboard. So switch to the project and let's open the admin dashboard component class file. So just go inside the app directory, then HTTP, LiveWire, admin and from here let's open admin dashboard component.php file. Okay. And inside this file, uh, let's fetch here the orders. Okay, so inside the render method, just write here orders dollar orders is equal to model name order, then colon colon order by add here the column name created at created underscore at and just write here uh, the order descending order so write here desc for descending okay and now call here the get method okay and take on uh, let's take here the 10 records so inside the take method just pass here number 10 all right now let's create uh, a variable for getting the total sale so right here dollar total sales is equal to model name order colon colon where status is equal to delivered okay this one delivered then call here the count method all right now create another variable for getting the total revenue total revenue is equal to order colon colon where and inside where just pass here the status and the status is equal to delivered all right then call here the sum method sum function okay and inside this just pass here the column name total all right now let's copy this two line and paste here and change here the variable name for getting the today sale and here today revenue okay and after this just add here the one more condition where date and inside this just pass here column name created underscore at created at okay and after this add here comma then carbon colon colon today all right now let's copy this and inside this just paste here all right now here just return to the view uh, first return here inside the big bracket just return this orders okay so just write here colon single quote orders arrow dollar orders okay then comma now return this total sales so right here total sales arrow dollar total sales all right now let's return the total revenue dollar total revenue then uh, today sales and today revenue okay so in single quote just paste here the total sales arrow dollar today sales and now just return here today revenue arrow dollar today revenue okay now save this file okay now let's open the admin dashboard component view file so for that just go inside the resources directory then views 
uh, live wire admin and from here let's open this one admin dash uh, dashboard dash complaint.blade.php file okay now inside this view file uh, first of all let's add here the HTML template okay so for getting the template for uh, template of dashboard uh, just go to the Google so in new tab let's open the Google and search here surf side media uh, github okay this one and now just click on this link and you can see here the repository laravel 8 e-commerce okay so just open this and you can see here the file dashboard.html okay so just open this file and now from this file let's copy all the content from this file okay so just select all the content and now copy and switch to the project and inside the admin dashboard component.blade.php file just select all the text and remove this and paste here okay all right now for showing here the total revenue just remove this zero and add here double curly bracket uh, double curly bracket here then just write here total revenue okay and for showing the total sale just write here double curly bracket dollar total sales okay today uh, for today revenue just add here double curly bracket dollar today revenue and here for showing the uh, today sales just write here dollar today sales okay now save this file and uh, let's check this dashboard so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and you can see here the this is the admin dashboard page and here you can see here the total revenue total sales today revenue and today sales okay now after this uh, let's add here the latest orders okay so for that inside the ad, uh, admin dashboard component view file after this after this step okay just add here uh, this is the container row okay after this row just add one more row here and uh, then add here the column empty to valve now add the panel panel default panel default and now panel heading and just add here the heading uh, latest order and then panel body and inside this body uh, let's add here the table so i'm just going to uh, open admin uh, this one admin order component or blade or php file and uh, from this file uh, let's copy this table okay so just select this table and okay copy this table and inside the dashboard view file just paste here okay and now from here just remove this okay and also remove this whole span now save this file now it's done okay so let's check this okay so switch to the browser and just ref just refresh the page and you can see here the latest order okay
all right so in this way you can display data on admin dashboard so that's all about display data on admin dashboard so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching